how to use green screen in CapCut. This is gonna be a quick tutorial. I'm gonna show you quickly how to do this. I've already got my two uh, clips within my dashboard in CapCut, and so all I'm going to do is drag one clip into the timeline. Now, if you're using green screen, the clip that you want to have overlaid on top of whatever you're uh, inserting into your project, you actually want that on the top layer. And then you want the, um, just like this, you want the clip that you're gonna be on that green screen portion to be underneath it. That's how it's going to work. Uh, so I'll add both of these in right now. And notice I'm adding them into that second layer. And so essentially now what I'm gonna do is whatever screen or whatever image I want to have pop up here, I'm gonna place that underneath in order to uh, green screen that in. And so um, I'm just gonna use the built-in assets library within CapCut. So within my media icon here, it actually says library. If I click that arrow down, um, it come, CapCut comes built in with all sorts of different assets uh, that you can use uh, for your projects uh, using green screen or whatever. Um, they even have intros and endings and transitions that you can use uh, outside of the regular transition effects that they have built in. Maybe I'll do a video on that. On another time but essentially i'm just going to um pick something random here i'll drag this in this looks pretty cool so essentially i will drag this in and i'm going to place this on the bottom just like this so that's now on the bottom and then i'm going to definitely turn that down i don't know why that has audio and i'm going to just go to the edge here and i'm going to cut this out um so that way i will delete that so now i have that fully in my image and so essentially what i'm going to do here is highlight my top clip and then on the right hand side in this uh um, dashboard section here on the very top where it says basic this is all your positioning scale and size we'll mess with all of this in regards to the other one in a minute but you're going to go from basic to cutout and um, cutout allows you to do a chroma key and so essentially you'll highlight the color you want to cut out and replace and it's going to replace whatever's on the bottom clip here now they do have an automated sometimes it works great sometimes it doesn't so for instance if i do this automated right now you'll see it uh it does it, it did not work well so sometimes it's great sometimes it's not so we're gonna not do auto uh but i am going to do chroma key here and i'm going to click my uh, color picker and i'm going to select that green just like that uh, and then once i do that i'm going to select the strength and so i'll increase the strength here and you can see boom now it's starting to pop in now if i go all the way things get really weird but i'm just going to go right about there um, and then you can add a little bit of a shadow in sometimes that helps sometimes it doesn't um, and there you go that's essentially the basics now you have that uh, green screened in there and you have that uh, all that stuff kind of built in into your project and so that will be how you do that and then from there you can actually select the clip that you've green screened in and you've got your basics here you can adjust it you can rotate it you can do all sorts of different things that you would do with it in order to make that fit so now if i jump over here to this other one which is your typical uh person in front of a green screen i just selected this one with the kid here um, i'm going to scale this quickly just to make sure this fits boom that looks good and so basically the same idea here um, let's add just a basic background uh, let's do this random video game one this sounds pretty good here we'll do this and i'll go to the edge here and i will click cut that out boom and so now we have this in here um let's move this up make sure that's all i want to make sure that that is fully covered there we go and then I'm going to do the same thing I did here. I'm going to select this clip I'm going to go to cut out. Um, I might try to select chroma key. Let's do that green. Um, and then once I do that, I'll try to do auto cut out. See how that works. See that one worked very nicely. So it just depends on what you have. Um, I think too, like you, the basic is, is like if you have a, a pretty solid separation and you have a pretty decent clip, that works out just fine. Obviously, that one worked really good, um, and that was just automated. But I could have done the same thing I did with the other one, which is select my chroma key and everything and done that. I think I needed to select the chroma key first, too. I forgot to do that in the other clip. So just make sure you do the chroma key first, select the color, and then click auto, and that'll help it. Now, also what CapCut comes with underneath auto is these stroke options, which is pretty cool. So you can actually add like a, like a, like a lining between the, the subject and the background. You can change the color of it. 
to whatever you want uh, and make it really neat. Boom. And then you can also uh, change the size of it. You can make it pretty small. And then you can also change the opacity. So you can make it kind of like see-through and stuff. So pretty neat. Uh, or you can just not have it at all. So that's a pretty much a basic run through of how you use green screen within CapCut. I hope that that helps. Let me know if you have any questions or you're running into any troubles in the comment section below, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please take the time to like, comment, and subscribe as it helps us to further please our YouTube overlords. Check out more links in the description for continued assistance on your CapCut projects. And please keep your arms and legs inside the craft until it comes to a complete stop. Be sure to mind your headspace and watch your step as you exit. Failure to comply may result in serious injury or death. We will see you next time, Comet Creators. End transmission.